All right, today we're gonna set up the Razer Core X Chroma eGPU that you see here. Let's check it out. So on the back, you can see basically this little handle and that's all that you do, you pull that out. Of course, it tells you to remove this piece. Obviously, it's not gonna work with this piece. Here's where all this stuff happens. So there is this little screw here, thumb screw as they call it. And you can take that off, pull that little screw out, set that off to the side, and you can remove this slot. Now you insert your graphics card here. In my desktop, I currently have the GTX 1060 that I purchased for the Fortnite component. I have a GTX 960 that really looks practically brand new. A little dust maybe, but for the most part, it seems fine. So but for now, we're gonna put this in this eGPU and then I'll upgrade it to the 1060 at some point. Obviously you're just slotting this piece into that piece. And technically you should be wearing some kind of anti-static glove or wrist wrap, but I'm not. And of course it has the little thumb screw here. You put that back in just like you would in a normal PC and that just holds it down. And then you just need to plug in the power. I think I sprayed that thing with one of those air gun things like the cans of air. I think I blasted that out and now my hands feel slimy. All right, check the manual. I see, you know, it says to pull that out, of course, and then just plug in the power pins and then plug in the electrical power and you're pretty much good to go. So you need to take, has a little Velcro strap here, a little cable management for you. All right, took a little tucking to get in there, but I think I got her. And then just tuck this guy down. You don't want to get caught in the fan, but that one's not going to. It's nice and tight in there. And then you can just strap this guy back in. I don't know why there's more than one. All right, so we got it seated in here. I believe these cords are out of the way. This one is a little bit there, but I don't think that's going to get into the fan. It doesn't seem very mobile. Now all you do is slide it back in there. Putting the uh, car in the garage, if you will. Park that big Mack truck right in this little garage. And then this clamp locks in there louder than I want it to be. That clamp locks it into place. And here you can see, this is the Razer eGPU and this is the graphics card itself. You know, it'll vary by your device, but mine of course had HDMI and display ports. I had two monitors hooked up. This will just have one, but I lost the other cap. Here's the port for the Thunderbolt. That's what will go to your actual computer. And it does have an ethernet jack. So for example, I can just plug in my ethernet cable here. And now my laptop use this ethernet for its networking, which is nice. If you look at the regular Razer eGPU, this one's the Core X Chrome. This one has lights and a built-in dock. So I found the built-in dock justifying the higher price, you know, compatible to the other things on the market because the other ones didn't have, at least the ones I looked at didn't have a dock. And obviously this one looks cool. That's part of the package, of course, but it had a good power and the built-in dock features. If you're living that laptop life, you want your desk to be as clean as possible. And with this built-in dock, you really can live that one cord life with a laptop, which is nice. All right, so make sure the power here is off. It's on the zero side, right? So that's off. And go ahead and plug your power cord in. I will not be using the wall plug. I will be using this UPS. With a laptop, you know, you don't have to worry. Some, I mean, you need a surge protector, certainly, but with the laptop, the power goes out, so that battery. With the desktop, it causes a big problem, so you need a UPS for a desktop. I would assume an eGPU is the same. I don't know, but I'm not gonna risk it, so we're gonna use the UPS. So again, it's a nice three-pronger. This also helps with your cable management, of course. This is an adjustable workbench technically, but we use it as a standing desk. And so that's another reason having that UPS mounted there is gonna be a lot nicer for us. All right, let me plug this guy in back here. All right, so now connect the Razer Core X Chroma to your external monitor. That's optional. You can just do Thunderbolt directly to the laptop. For the initial setup, I'm just gonna do the laptop and then I will plug in a monitor right after that. For the initial setup, I will be using their tiny short cord, but I am gonna use that one I purchased. This cable matters. This one's Thunderbolt 4, but basically you just need, if you're getting longer than this little two foot or three foot one, you need to make sure it's active Thunderbolt 3. Thunderbolt 4 should be automatically active, so I think it should work just fine. But for the setup, I'll use the one that came with it, just to make sure nothing goes wrong. So this one is plugged into the razor itself. I'm trying to get as much as that little sweet razor action I can in there. And so for this purposes, I'll be using my Lenovo Yoga C940. It's a 14 inch 4K display, 
but it only has the iris graphics inside so it does have a 10th gen core i7 but it's an ultrabook so it's the h form factor i believe and this is the intel iris plus graphics so not the most powerful of devices so there is a usb a port on here and i'm going to put a dongle in there because i'm going to use a mouse instead of this trackpad now of course i could put that in the razer eGPU, but i want to be able to use the laptop with the mouse when i'm not sitting at this desk right all right so now i'm just going to plug this in and it should do its magic yeah so plug it in first and then switch the power supply on which i will do back here so now i've turned it on this guy's making some fan noises there are some purple lights here see right there we're getting some lights i don't know if that's coming through on camera so you still need to install synapse to make the color changes but then there should be thunderbolt setting so let me click on thunderbolt here so it says we're setting up the pci device here now we're setting up the razor so the audio device is ready launching the razor software and now nvidia control panel has got installed and it says now the razor core is set up and ready to go video controller is set up and ready to go all right and there's my little software guy here so it's automatically going to install chroma connect synapse all the stuff that's on my regular razor i don't know what cortex is so we'll skip that for now i don't know they want me to install it so i guess i will and you can hear this little the razor a little bit but not really it's not any louder than the fans are on this guy there's like a light air coming out i guess but nothing major no heat or anything it's not hot to the touch I mean, it just came on of course but and it is charging the laptop you can see there in the bottom corner there and that's the only thing plugged in of course is the thunderbolt from the razer eGPU. and my phone picked up the razer the byd precision manufacturer so that's because i'm on ethernet and you can see it is ethernet here as well so that's pretty good all right so now everything installed successfully the razer still doesn't have a very loud fan the fans are kicking pretty hard on the lenovo and it's hot right here but the rest of the device is cool so let's get started so it's pulling the games off of the device here which is fun that says game booster or whatever that's where the boost is you can see here is the chroma right now it's spectrum cycling so you can see it lighting up pretty good right now we're just scrolling through the colors it has a nice touch to it so the brightness you can adjust you can turn the lighting off when the light is off which is nice if you look over here at the screen and then advanced effects but there's spectrum cycling or if i want to do audio meter which i guess that just goes with the audio i don't know and you can do breathing or it should just be flashing one color over and over again which is what it looks like to me i believe fire which is pretty neat on the razor blade keyboard and that's kind of yellowy here see that's pretty nice spectrum cycling so of course it'll just rotate through all the colors starlight oh see it's kind of dancing here static of course just leaves it one color so you can change it like i'll change it to red now that's pretty nice the default static of course i think this is green which is you know razor green of course wave oh, man, that's cool but it's obviously a lot oh, you can change the direction yeah, see this kind of goes a different direction now and i'll turn it back to this way so that's really cool go back to audio meter i would assume audio meter is going to be tied to whatever music or something's playing but right now nothing's playing go back to breathing or fire i guess was pretty cool i'm not gonna leave it on wave i think that's distracting but like as far as like for the video purposes we'll do this for now and then really i mean that might be i don't know what else we would do here right so you can tie in various things here all right so that's all cool so we can also see right here so here you can see the intel iris plus and obviously here's the gpu for the gtx 960. so it is recognized we'll do a little more setting up and then i'll make a little synopsis here also i went ahead and plugged in a monitor display port to the back obviously power from the monitor to the ups and we're working just fine right the lid of the laptop is closed of course and now we can see that the display port here so it should be running off pure eGPU. That should calm the fans down on the laptop itself we are on ethernet and we are using the display port yeah so this isn't a gaming monitor it's a dell 16 by 1080p monitor we'll upgrade the monitor later but this is just to make sure it's working correctly right all right thanks i think that should be it thumbs up